Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit educational personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Viewer discretion is advised. Copyright Disclaimer Under A little less than it would be 1,300, 1,400 years ago. Let's go, let's just date this to about the 6th to the 8th century AD. There was a huge superstition that broke out in, mes in the area of uh, what we call the Fertile Crescent that we're talking about. And something was created called incantation bowls. Now, again, this is a piece that was given to us for our museum. And this is an incantation bowl. Now, what this is, this is just a normal clay bowl, but someone has written by hand, a lot of this is in Aramaic, um, writing with ink. The ink is faded. This one, of course, was broken and glued back together. And so this was a bowl that was buried at the door of a home and it has a prayer to that demands or commands an evil spirit not to enter the home. So the evil spirit would see it, read it and then go into the bowl. Now, once again, let me say not biblical, totally a legend, but the fact is it existed. My point is, and even among the Arabs, there's a there's a hand and I, and I have some of these and I could have brought them here. Uh, it's a hand called the hand of Fatima. And some people even in, in Judaism will call it the hand of, the, of God. That's just a tradition among some, not many, but some mostly Muslims. And the hand of Fatima is worn to ward off evil spirits. Now, here's my point. There's this big belief in evil spirits. Okay. So, all praises to the Most High. This is going to be a short video. Uh, shalom, beloved brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike. Welcome. This is your humble servant, Big Live High. And today is uh, Saturday, uh, May the 14th, uh, 2022. And it's currently 8.05 a.m. Eastern Time, pre-recorded. Peace be unto you. Shabbat Shalom. All that good stuff. Now, beloved, I wasn't even going to do this. Uh, probably <laughs> they're going to take my, my channel down for doing this because... Uh, we have to call this guy out. We, we know Perry Stone is a regular here. Uh, of course, he's watching this. Uh, you know, the swagger jacking never stop, and it won't stop. I just woke up, man, and he's been doing a lot of stuff that I don't pay attention anymore because, you know, uh, I I just uh, I just really don't care about what this guy is doing. But lately, he's been. Uh, here we go. Lately, he's been doing a lot of stuff. Like, it's not only copying. He's just, he literally becoming us, okay? The whole bulletproof George Washington, all stories, and those strange secrets of U.S. president. You know, when we're talking about a strange stranger, a strange land, a peculiar people. He, he, he's just exposing a dark revelation, uh, two true story i haven't seen anything about his stuff the ezekiel uh the ezekiel prophecy every time we're talking about something he just bring it and then he making he, he making it his okay the last video that i was like shocked when he released was shalom when, when when god shalom you and then when he was going in there he was talking about shalom and all that stuff but anyway in this video brothers now perish stone i mean it's all of them now they are talking about spirit pazuzu for those of you who don't know uh because i'm not gonna go into all of it i'll just leave the link in there so you can watch the video yourself uh who is pazuzu we we may we according may... to wikipedia pazuzu algarod was oh, an american wow. murderer responsible for the uh, murder of two men okay that's, that's not what that is pazuzu according to wikipedia Pazuzu Algarod was an American no. murderer responsible for the murder of two men. Pazuzu Mesopotamia. Check out these pictures. Oh boy. Who is Pazuzu the demon? According to Wikipedia, mythology, Pazuzu is the demon of the southwest wind known for bringing famine during dry seasons and locusts during rainy seasons. Pazuzu was invoked in apotropaic amulets, which combat the powers of his rival, 
the malicious goddess Lamashtu, who was believed to cause harm to mother and child during childbirth. Okay, so what you're calling, those people have no idea. This is not even Pazuzu. I, I don't know where they get this image from and then they call it Pazuzu and stuff. Uh, those things, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to even go into this. But anyway, let me, let, let, me, let me try to tell you what Perishstone is doing here. Since we've been talking about demons and magic, now they are doing it too. Okay, this is witchcraft. Okay, when they are doing it, when they are talking about it, holding those things, has those things around them, nobody called them out, but we will. This is witchcraft. You will not see any Hebrew attacking them or any pretend Hebrew or any skin folk attacking them and calling them out and say, hey, you are bringing witchcraft stuff in there. Okay. They won't say anything like that, but the moment we start talking about... Brothers, watch the video. He's talking about tradition, which of course is Kabbalah. He's talking about, well, this is tradition. It's Kabbalah. Okay, it's Kabbalah. So, um, you know, so... It, it, it's it's crazy. So, you know what I'm going to do? Let, let me go let, let me go in the, in the beginning right now. <sighs> I didn't want to do this. I just wanted this to be a 10 minutes video. Oh boy. All right, it's going to be more than that. I got to do prepare the prayer. But anyway, man, let me do this. Now, this dude is talking about some bowl that you write things and then you buried it in front of your house and then the spirit not getting in the hand of Fatima and all that and then now they are getting into magical stuff and then they make it seems oh that's that's those are legends for some odd reason we find we find a bowl but those are legends they weren't true it's not in the bible but they are legend you know what he said he talk about um he talk about giants you know what Let, let's listen to this man because this is this is for criticism all right we have we we have to listen to this all right although if uh if uh i i'm pretty sure if, if, if we find out about this which he will they will cancel my um he, they will, he will strike my account they will cancel it and then i will be out for uh uh i will be out for uh i will be out for a week if i'm out for a week see um, this is not big, big Levi backup channel. Uh, wait. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Well, anyway, let me show you. If I am um out, okay. All praises to the most. If I am out, uh, there is a backup channel all here. Okay, there is a link in all my videos. Okay, say subscribe to my backup channel. Okay, this is the backup channel right here. All right, it says Big Levi backup channels has like 2.6 thousand, uh, 2006, uh, 2600 subscribers, to, so to speak. You may go over there for the prayer, you can um check it out because they are, you know, I'm going to speak about this and they are going to uh uh you know uh, they cancel my account because uh, i already you know uh, just to show you give me a second there you go i already have a channel violation okay i have a community guide okay uh, active community uh, community guideline strike so if they strike me again i'm going to be out for a week so if you don't find me you know go to the other channel okay big levi backup channel which is this channel right here all right now let's go to the beginning of this thing so to show the people like how how hypocrisy work in the midst of the gentiles and you won't see any hebrew you won't see any golem call them out you won't see anyone say yo you are bringing your people witchcraft you you are bringing them to hell by, by telling them about the listen he watch him he's not doing anything but reading a book he's not doing anything but showing up certain things he's not telling people to do anything just like we are doing but when we do in it it's witchcraft when we're doing it we're going to hell when we're doing it we we will learn luring the people to the lake of fire but when they do it it's just, it's just sewing stuff man let's listen all right never heard 
of a Pazuzu spirit. I had not heard of this until I did research about a month ago. We've been talking about Pazuzu for a while now, for those of you that, you know, been in there. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead. And I, I was amazed at something. And I'm going to say this will be the strangest and most unusual manifest program in the history of manifest. You see what word he is using? Strangest. This is like the most strangers, stranger, strange. He's been using that for a while now. Keep talking about strange. Oh, stranger, the strange secrets of the president. Oh, uh, this is so strange. This is this is supernatural. Okay. Uh, um, the strange secrets of U.S. president. Okay, of the United States. Uh, strange, strange. All right, man. So. You got to trust me. You are not going to want to miss this. All right. We're going to go in a moment into probably the most difficult scripture to understand and explain in the entire Bible. It is ha it happens to be found in the book of Revelation. There in the book of Revelation, it deals with the bottomless pit and these locusts coming out of the pit, but they are not normal locusts. Now behind me on the screen, are these little things that are the image of a, lo of a locust. And also on that screen is this image that they have made of the Pazuzu spirit. So you'll, you'll see that you can, you can kind of see the edge of it right here on the side. All right. Now, let me, let me go all the way back to the garden of Eden, to the time of the garden of Eden, up to the building of the tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11. I want you to remember that all of mankind's history centers in the area of the Middle East, Northern Africa, the Middle East, uh, and also probably the area, well, not probably, the area today known as Persia or Iran. So this is the same garbage they've been pushing about the Middle East, the Middle East. And people are looking in the Middle East and nothing is happening out there besides, you know, those Israeli beating the crap out of the, the Ishmaelites or whatever, Ish versus Ish over there. You know, they are killing each other and nothing is really happening over there. All this is the war is in Ukraine. The famine is here. The drought is here in America. Uh, the fire con fiery conflagration is happening here in Nigel County. They see all those bad stuff are happening here, but they want to make them focus on, oh, the Middle East. Oh, that's the promised land. Uh, Iraq. Uh, whatever, dude. Uh, this is the cradle of civilization. Oh, the book boy. of Genesis chapter 2 mentions. That's a lie. That's a lie. Cradle of civilization. That's a lie. That's a lie. We, we talk about this over here. People always uh, look, listen, I'm not going to even go into this because this will, will bring some. <sighs> anyway, let's listen. He's lying. This is not the middle. This is not the cradle of civilization that there were there was a main river that ran through the Garden of Eden and it parted into four heads, the Gihon, the Pishon, the Euphrates and the Hittikel. Now the Euphrates and the Tigris are two of those rivers. The Nile, according to Josephus, would be the Gihon. All of those are, um, those people have no idea when they talk about rivers. They are not talk, talking about actual rivers, you dumbass. They are not talking about actual weave rivers. Anytime you see four things coming out uh, the Garden of Eden, which is, of course, you know, the Kabbalah and all that, the Tree of Life, they are talking about the four quarters of the universe, the rivers, the connection, the angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Leo, air, water, earth, fire. They are talking about four forces that came out of the tree. That has nothing to do with the actual rivers. There are so many rivers. That is why it, those people. There are so many rivers connecting four major rivers. It's pretty much everywhere. You go in Haiti, you will find four major rivers that connected to a beautiful garden. It's a mark that's. Uh, man, I, I want to show this, man. I want to show this, but anyway, we don't have the time for this. It's not talking about physical rivers because you got the exoteric meaning of the bible we have the esoteric the hidden meaning uh the the greeks called it one thing the egyptians called it another that's why it's two different names uh -huh. and there's also a unknown river that was the riverbed was found by a satellite underground satellite picture that ran through saudi arabia so this oh, is boy. the area of the fertile crescent the area of early civilization having said that you have to understand that adam and eve 
from the time of Adam all the way to the time of Noah, men lived to be very old. Methuselah lived to be 969 years of age. Mm. Uh, uh, another man lived to be 930 years of age. Noah, we have people that lived to be 777 years of age. Enoch, Enoch actually lived short, uh, uh, shorter than anybody. So he's talking about Enoch. Is that what that is? Enoch, he, he, oh my God. This is a lot of lies right here. Let, let's listen to what this dude is saying, man. You know, I didn't want to do this, but anyway. Lived to be very old. Methuselah lived to be 969 years of age. Uh, uh, another man lived to be 930 years of age. Noah, we have people that lived to be 777 years of age. Enoch, Enoch actually lived short, uh, uh, shorter than anybody. Uh, it was over, you know, he was translated after 360 some years. So in other words, men knew each other. So he said Enoch or Enoch? Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, let, let me see. Let me see what they're trying to say here. And put the closed caption, you know. Um. A unknown river that was, the riverbed was found by a satellite, underground satellite picture that ran through Saudi Arabia. So this is the area of the Fertile Crescent, the area of early civilization. Mm -hmm. Having said that, you have to understand that Adam and Eve, from the time of Adam all the way to the time of Noah, men lived to be very old. Methuselah lived to be 969 years of age. Uh, uh, another man lived to be 930 years of age. Noah, we have people that lived to be 777 years of age. Enoch, Enoch actually lived short. Uh, uh, he said Enoch, Enoch. Enoch actually lived short. You dumbass, Enoch is still alive. Actually, Enoch lived the longest, not the shortest. Enoch is still here. Enoch is older than his father, Methuselah. Is that what that is? Let me check here. Methuselah lived 969. Who was Enoch's father from the Bible? Cain, uh, according to some information I found on Wikipedia. Uh, there are so many Enoch. Who was Methuselah's son? Methuselah's sons are Lamech, Rachel, and Lamech. Oh boy, this is this, this, this. Um. Oh boy. Who was Enoch's father? According okay. to Wikipedia, Enoch is a biblical figure and patriarch prior to Noah's flood and the son of Jared and father okay, well, of Methuselah. Yeah, he, he, okay, father of Methuselah. Enoch was the father of the, uh, of, let, let, let me, uh, uh boy. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Enoch was the father of Methuselah, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Because they took the book of Enoch out, and then now all they've been talking about, like the beloved brother Big Judah been saying, is Enoch, Enoch, you know, because he said Enoch's e e oh, damn it. Enoch after three hundred and sixty-five years on earth, God's taking him away, so he he's still alive. That's why he he came back multiple time i believe with uh with, with with prophecies with books that you guys are hiding enoch is not is not living 365 years and then he died he's still alive okay all right uh this is methuselah he becomes uh the father of methuselah the longest living man so enoch was the father of methuselah methuselah lived 969 years but enoch is still alive it's hard for you to understand this because you hide those books. You don't do those research. You just running your mouth, lying. Enoch, uh, he, he, Enoch actually lived short, 365 years. No, Enoch's been alive thousands of years. He's still there. To, to you, to us, it's thousands of years, but to him, it's been like, it's been like a few hours. <laughs> it's been a few hours. Probably, I would say, been at least a day or two barely because a day for us is a thousand years for them it's been at least a day or two for enoch uh, the, where he is right now okay and he is coming back whether you want it or not okay there's a lot of things going on i do not like to do those things because it will bring nothing but argument and, and contention all right let's keep on moving okay shorter than anybody uh it was over you know he was translated after 360 some years so another okay he was translated that means he was taken 
You know, they won't tell you, they won't tell the people that those stuff. That's how he was translated after 300. Now he was taken up. Words. Men knew each other. They handed down stories and they handed down traditions. The Kabbalah. That's what, that's what they, he's saying. Kabbalah literally really means tradition, stories and tradition. And that's what we are doing here. All our homeworks, for instance, if you go to biglevi.com, egocentrically called biglevi.com, and then you go to our homework, okay? Uh, for instance, instruction on the spiritual core cleansing. You can download the PDF, okay? This is tradition and information that has nothing to do with witchcraft, okay? And 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 you look after um, you look on all those things. Meditation, those are tradition. The avocado, those are Kabbalah. Tradition. This just mean like we are doing what our ancestors used to do. Things that you forbid them to do. Things that you say this is witchcraft. Oh, you have an avocado. You take the seed, you grind it, and and then dry it, and then you can cure your thyroid issue, your cancer, your prostate cancer. That that's that's witchcraft right there. Witchcraft. Dear antlers, the cure, the antidote to all poison. Well, that's witchcraft right there. You show this dear dear antler, and people will call you out. Anana, you got a pineapple in your house? That's witchcraft. Throw it away. The devil lives in there. Which is SpongeBob and all this nonsense. That's what he's talking about, Kabbalah. Which brings me to my main thought as we begin here, the spirit world. When when the serpent came into the garden. Spirit world. He's talking about the spirit world, spiritual things. Those people never talk about the spirit world. The only spirit world they always talk about is meeting Jesus. Look at this. Throughout all his, they barely mention that name Jesus. They barely mention him. It's God, spirit, angel, and demons, and magic. Of Eden, and Adam and Eve fell through a temptation. Something happened that initiated the understanding of... You, you listen to the word that he said, initiated. Like an initiate. Initiated. Because Adam and Eve was initiated. They were initiated in the knowledge and the knowledge of bo both light and darkness. That's what it is. Of the spirit wor world. There are three things that were absolutely understood centuries ago, all the way from Adam to the Tower of Babel, all the way from the Tower of Babel up through what we call the area of early civilization. They understood giants because giants were in the earth in the time of Noah and before. They never want to talk about giants. All of a sudden, giants did exist. They walked the earth towards Goliath and all that. Yeah, whatever, dude. They understood demon spirits because there is a lot of study I have done that spi the lie. spirit world was not only understood, spirits were visibly seen. Fall no, no, that's a lie. Well, first of all, you never studied those. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a lie. The, he, he doesn't know what he's saying. Listen, during that time, the time that he was talking to Adam and 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 uh, you know uh, uh, Enoch and and Noah and uh, um uh, all those the Tower of Babel. Listen, the Earth wasn't the, the that's when the Earth was strange. That's when magic was. We weren't in this 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 dimension. That's why there's a huge shift coming. This dimension that you're seeing is, is slowly but surely moving towards magic. We told the people the future is going to be magical. Muggles like him won't be able to use it. Just like they weren't be able to use magic back then. They can only use so-called energy to hurt people. They can't even use magic. They can use energy to, to, to hurt people because magic, what, what, what's magic is energy. What's powering this laptop while making this? Energy. You know, what making him sitting over there and talking energy. That's why you drink, you eat to gain energy. If you don't want to practice magic, don't eat, don't drink, don't breathe. Don't walk in the sun because it's all energy based. Yeah. All and angels existed in the form of men. They were visibly seen. Uh, and there was also an understanding of supernatural beings that we call angels. Okay. When the History Channel does all these studies on aliens from the past, I just, I kind of, I got, I kind of laugh because I realized from the Bible, 
They are fallen angels that came down from God to teach men righteousness that fell enamored with the daughters of men. That's a whole nother study. That That's a bunch of lies. It, it, that's not what that is. It, the angels did not fail because they have sex with women. It, it, it's, yeah, that's not what that is. That's not what you think. People, it's, it, those people make sex look so dirty. Like, oh, the angels have sex with, with women. They dirty themselves. That's not what that mean. I'm not going to go into this, but that's not what that mean. Okay? Remember, when you disobey the Most High, Almighty, when you try to take His place, that's the greatest sin. Sex has nothing to do with it. Just like you people are saying Eve was sleeping with a snake. You, <laughs> anyway, man. That's not what that is. You see how right now they are talking about angels and demons, guardian angels and all that, and all this nonsense? Because they have nothing else to say. They have to swagger jack in order for their people to pay attention. Okay? That's not what that is, man. You know, what you're calling angels and demons or energies, they don't have a physical form. They have to bow a form. Okay. It would take hours to, to detail. And I also realized that they, they are demon spirits that were recognized and known, and there were giants in the earth. That's not what that is. What, what <laughs> okay. In, in the history channel, when they're to, uh, talking about ancient astronauts, they are talking about our people, our technology, the Atlantean, our people, uh, to, our technology, our tradition we had back then was so advanced. We used to go around the earth and, and teach other people, other lower being, if you must, you know, for a lack of a better word. We used to teach them what we used, what we knew, because we were far more advanced. And then they were like, they didn't even worship us as God because they knew the Most High Almighty, but they saw the Most High Almighty, the Great One in us. What you're calling ancient astronauts were nothing but a bunch of black men and black women running around, building things around. That has nothing to do with fallen angel came in uh, out of space and stuff. We used to go in and out of space all the time. That's when, when the Most High gave us access to the firmament give us the code when we effed up it closed it down you can't go anywhere if our ancestor used the quote unquote the seven planets for the seven days and we live in one the others have life too the most high almighty doesn't create dead things he doesn't create a bunch of planets out there dead you can't live in them because they are sulfur toxic and stuff like that there's too much mercury it's too hot it's closer to the sun that's your science that's your signs. You got people that are living in, in, uh, um, in uh, uh, let's say, in Nevada, in the desert. You, you take those people, you, go, you put them in the North Pole next to the so-called, the Inuit, uh, if I'm saying this uh, right. Uh, I do not like to use the word Eskimo. We have a brother over there. You put them over there in a day over there, they can die because their body is not, is not made for this type of weather. That, that doesn't mean there's nobody leave over there because it's too cold. You just don't see them. They, you don't need to see them. They're not interested in you. What you're calling ancient astronaut, where our people traveling in spaceship, all those things truly exist. And those 500, those 50 miles of a uh, 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 library of books you have under the Vatican, there's many relics, many spaceship, many technology they don't know. They, they have a warehouse that are literally hundreds of miles loaded with our technology. They cannot activate. They don't know what it is. And the nation have access to one of those things. Okay? You guys are well aware of that. Talking about oh ancient I fallen angels. See how much glory they are giving. Fallen angel over oh, no, Bill Gates. Fallen angels. Elon Musk. Uh, those guys are dying. They have CV. You know, they are afraid of the Russian. And and, and, and the next thing you know, they're falling in. Nope, those were our people. Man, this is gonna take me long. Goliath, Lamish, Bibinoff, Saf, that's just to name a few of them. And some of these were 10 to probably 12, 13 feet tall. They were way taller than this. They were way taller than this. <laughs> the one that was before the flood were, were like miles long. Those guys, their feet can just like crush a whole city. <laughs> because the earth was a much bigger. It, it It's just the dimension that we were living. It, it's crazy. I, I don't even want to talk to this fellow. 
So people understood the spirit world. Now, there was in the ancient Ur of Chaldea, where Abraham was from, in ancient Mesopotamia, ancient Sumeria. This is all the area today known as uh, Iraq and Syria and Lebanon, that part of the world. Oh, that boy. part of the world, 5,500 years ago, had information on spirits in the spirit world. They, they wore charms. Oh, they also had special carvings that they made to show the... Okay, he said there were charms. Okay, what you are looking not, this is not an actual being. I These spirit beings. Now, here's one of them. On my YouTube channel uh -huh. years ago, not, I'm sorry, months ago, I showed this and I said, is this an angel? And I had somebody from a museum in the Middle East to tell me that this carving, this is a terracotta piece of, that was baked. This is probably 3,000 to 4,000 years old. Okay, we have something that is like a hundred times more older than this. That's, that's not what that is. First of all, like we told those people we didn't have this information, but we have it now. Uh, let me see. Spirits in the spirit world. They, okay. they were, this were charms. They also had... They were charms, okay? He's talking about amulet and pentacles. Anyway, what you're looking at here, it, it's not an actual being, Okay. Those spirit, this is not evil at all. That's not the Gentiles were if oh he had a beak and then Pazuzu and that's not evil. It, it's they don't know what it is. First of all, when you are calling a spirit, they took a depth on your head. That is why it's always good to go in the spiritual realm, not to calling them. Because they don't have any body, they don't have a physical body. When they are coming, they have to bow apart. Okay. He, this spirit, when you call it, he has to tell you, hey, I can fly. And he cannot speak to you the way to, for you to understand. That's why he has wing, which indicated he can fly. He can fly like an eagle. He has a head like an eagle. Okay. He brought fruit. Oh, oh, this is the fruit of the garden of Eden and all that. This is a pentacle and, and, his, and his hand. This is a devices for him to... I'm not going to reveal what it is, what they have been revealed unto me, but this is a, 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 a technology that they have, so to speak, that allow them to do certain things. Just like you have watch that you can, you can, you can time time. You can uh, know where you at. It has a, um, a compass in it and, and stuff like that. Those things are not new. Okay, he bowed the head of an eagle, bowed the body of a man, uh, um, wings and stuff like that. He came in so he can talk and, and do things. That's not what that is. That has nothing to do with evil. Oh, those things were evil. No, they weren't. There's a lot of things those Gentiles are talking about because they don't understand it. It's evil. And then now all of a sudden, you guys are talking about like, oh, angels, demon, talisman, uh, uh, charm and all that. Get had here. special carvings that they made to show these spirit beings. Now, here's one of them oh, on my YouTube channel years ago. Oh, not, I'm sorry, months ago, I showed this and I said, is this an angel? And I had somebody from a museum in the Middle East to tell me that this carving, this is a terracotta piece of, that was baked. This is probably 3,000 thousand to four thousand years old oh and i know people with with uh that are specialists in archaeology are going to say wear gloves and don't drop it don't worry i'm not going to drop it so it's very dusty and old but okay notice that little limp that he have there ever since we bought talk about the limp he bought a limp too and our people abdullah see show you how to make limp they are very powerful limps are not just made to <laughs> look listen you cannot make a little limp like this to brighten out a whole room or a whole house they went limp or not used to brighten house or, or just to be in the house and limp are made for specific things because they, there is a spirit in it but i want you to look at this because here are wings that has wings okay it also is a has the appearance of a female and down here are looks like claws feet so i said is this an angel Okay, first of all, when we told you they have claw feet and stuff, they bow those parts. Those are spirits. When when you call them against again, when you invoke them, they cannot come as they need a form. They need a body. You know, it's it's crazy. Well, I know of no angel in the Bible that has this description, although angels can have wings. So oh, someone contacted me and said this was 
called Lilith. Lilith. And this Lilith is not from. the Bible, by the way. Of course, they have to tell them this is not the Bible. Oh, don't be looking at it because this is not the Bible. Lilith, uh, Lilith. Now you people are talking about Lilith too? But Lilith was allegedly by tradition, not in the Bible. By Kabbalah. That's what you mean because they talk about her and the Kabbalah. By Kabbalah. You've been reading the Kabbalah. Okay, that's what that is by tradition. Bible, to make this clear, the first creation that God made for Adam, and she rebelled against Adam, oh, left the garden, then Adam made Eve, and she is the one that ended up uh, connected to Cain. It's all legend, <sighs> by the way. Everybody say with me, legend. However, legend. That, that's what they always say. It's all legend. They don't even understand when they. <laughs> I'm not gonna go if I'm not gonna go in this when they say Lilith and stuff like that. People just read those things and they're just talking about them the way it is. We have people brothers, do you know that you can actually time travel in your mind to go see those things and see the way that they happen? I, I, I mean the one that they give you access to anyway. There was a strong belief in her being a seducing spirit and the oh, spirit God. of the night. So this was created to show an image of her, and this is thousands of years old. Yeah. Another thing, and what I'm doing now is I'm, gonna pr I'm proving to you the belief in the spirit world all the way back 4,000 years ago. Okay, let's go to 1,600 to 1,800 years ago. Yeah. Actually, it wouldn't be that long. It would be a little less than it would be 1,300, 1,400 years ago. Let's go, let's just date this to about the 6th to the 8th century AD. Oh there was a huge superstition that broke out in, mes in the area of uh, what we call the Fertile Crescent that we're talking about. And something was created called incantation bowls. Now, So incantation, incantation bowl. Okay, let's, uh, because uh, previously we talked about incantation. I, re I receive a lot of crap. What is incantation? Oh boy, that's not what that is. According to Wiktionary, cantation, incantation. a singing. Here's the definition of incantation. A series of words said as a magic spell or charm. You heard that? Incantation, a series of words says as magic spell or charm. And when we say things like this, we get chastised. When we say things like this, they send skin folk talking about this is witchcraft, witchcraft, magic. It's wrong. It's like so evil. This is magic. Chanting, recitation. When you recite a prayer, this is magic spell. When you recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, this is a magic spell. When you chant, when you're chanting, when, 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 when we have this right here, okay, when you're singing, chanting, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, give me holy, I'm jingling, Chanting. Oh, of course, all those things that I just make right on top of my head, they, they meant nothing. <laughs> it's just chanting. Did you hear what he said? Let, let, me, let me play it again, all right? to 1800 years ago oh boy. actually wouldn't be that long it would be a little less than it'd be 1300 1400 years ago let's go let's just date this to about the 6th to the 8th century AD oh there was a huge superstition that broke out in mess in the area oh of uh, what we call the Fertile Crescent that we're talking about and uh -huh. something was created called incantation bowls now again this is a piece that was incantation incantation bowl and he has the bowl okay Incantation, a series of words said as a magic spell or charm. 
and excuse me an incantation to raise the dead which is necromancy like yahushai jesus christ used to bring lazarus out of the pit of death oh necromancy oh this is so bad but jesus did necromancy but we, you guys worship that guy like hell it, 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 incantation oh evil it's like there's some kid lead, oh this is so evil baphomet right there they have no idea what that thing is uh uh it's, you know incantation oh look at this there's some weird stuff going on this is magical like like the head of men the, the, the stuff and things we're not afraid of those things anymore because we know what they are we know this is a pentacle we know the the pyramid mean the heaven the one down mean earth okay the sun the moon the wind oh i mean uh, um is that what that is that the earth we know all those mean something incantation he's talking about magic he's talking about spell charm and amulet okay and he has a little bowl in him and he's given to us for our museum and this is an incantation bowl now what this is this is just a normal clay bowl but no that's not what that is that's not a normal clay bowl oh boy I, I, if abdullah c is watching this it may he made a video about kalbas <laughs> this is a qui <laughs> Quick Calabas. Uh, let me see what they have here. Calabas. Is that what that is? Calabas. Huh? Calabas or Calabas? There we go. No, that's not it. That's, uh... <sighs> I think it's French. Ah, let me write it in Creole. Hmm. There we go. This is what that is. Um, I forgot the name of this. Uh, this is a tree in Haiti, okay? They call it the make a bowl out of it. All right? Okay? This is a very mystical, powerful tree, okay? All right? Um, let me see. I think... Uh, okay. Calabash. Yes, I, I, I didn't put it right, okay? A Haitian treasures, Calabash, Calabash. Okay, this is a... This is a very magical uh, a tree. This thing can do a lot, okay? All right? Okay, they oh well, they just they don't give that much information, which I'm not going to go in there. See, this tree, okay, this calabash, let me see if they have um uh Okay. Uh calabash. Whoops okay um okay calabash also known as battle guard uh white flow so a guard so to speak okay you see you see what they're having here okay african calabash stock fo photos this is a power that's what he's holding in his hand this is a fake this is not made out of clay dumbass he's made <laughs> those are made out of calabash okay all right so those things are powerful brothers if you can get one get one you know people will call you a witch for getting those things um you see those women with giant calabash on their head you know it, it's a, there, there is there's power in those things okay all right and they are very um they are very rare to get especially the the haitian calabash this one this this thing you can do so many things with this we might give in homework on that but again let's keep on moving oh man this dude but someone has written by hand a lot of this is in aramaic um writing with ink the ink is faded this one of course was broken and glued back together and so this was a bowl that was buried at the door of a home mm -hmm. and it has a prayer to that demands or commands an evil spirit not to enter the home so the evil spirit would see it read it and then go into the bowl now once again let me say not biblical totally a legend but the fact is it existed this is this is so contradictory you just say this is a legend but the fact legend and fact cannot be you cannot put those two words in this this is a legend but the fact that it exists then therefore it's not a legend because it exists you hold it in your hand 
this is not biblical because they have to tell the people, oh, this is not biblical. Don't go look at the Bible because the Bible is a magical book. It's loaded with spells. The book of Ezekiel is straight Kabbalah. The book of Exodus is straight voodoo. The book of De Deuteronomy, Exodus, Numbers, it's all about voodoo, brethren. Look what they are telling Moses to build the lamp. Look what they are telling Aaron to do. It's straight voodoo. It, 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 people don't, yeah, they don't want to talk about this. Try to take any chapter they tell the, uh, uh, Moses to write down. Try to do those things. Try to gather the ingredients. It's straight up voodoo. That's what it is. And then you people are like, oh, this, this is, this is, this is legend. But the fact that it exists, wait, but it's not legend anyway, man. My point is, and yeah, even among point, the Arabs, what, there's, a, there's a hand, and I, and I have some of these and I could have brought them here. Uh, it's a hand called the hand of Fatima. And some people even, in, <sighs> I don't want to go there. I want to finish this and go back to sleep. But anyway, the hand of Fatima. Okay, so this is a hand. Okay, he's talking about the, the Arab hand or so to speak. It doesn't belong to the Arab. Those are our stuff. Okay. And then uh, people will like, oh, well, th th this has like the one seeing eye. This is evil. Illuminati. This is like Illuminati and stuff. Jay-Z in the midst of all of the and, and stuff like that. And, and so this is Illuminati. <laughs> Things and, and stuff like that. And, and okay, whatever. So that has nothing to do with this. Okay. That has nothing to do with the so-called Illuminati or evilness and stuff. Now, when they talk about this, those are charms, those are amulet, those are talisman. Okay? He's talking about those things and nobody calling him out. Just why he he, he removed, well, of course, there is no the comment is turned off because you can say anything. And he's making sign with his hand. This is witchcraft right there. You evil person, okay? Just because you are you, you can do those things. And when we do things like that, we've been chastised. In Judaism, we'll call it the hand of the of God. That's just a tradition among some, not many. Kabbalah, Kabbalah, say it, say it, say it. Uh, it's a hand called the hand of Fatima, and some people, even in in Judaism, will call it the hand of the of God. That's just a tradition among some, not many, but some mostly Muslims. And the hand Kabbalah again. There's another hand they don't know about. It's called Lame de Gloire. This is very dangerous. This is very dangerous. This one right there. This is extremely dangerous. Hand of glory. You know what does? You know what that do? You know what that does? Okay. Lame de Gras. There are multiple of them. But this is probably the most dangerous one. This is mean the hand of glory. The macabre magic severed hand. I'm so afraid. This thing, so the what it does, brothers, they are using this for <sighs> let, let me explain quickly. This is the hand of a dead man. This is the man of uh, somebody that hang himself by the road. Okay, that person have to hang themselves by the road. And they cut off the hand, they mummify it, and then they put like a um something like a um they put like a pin in the midst of it and then they put uh, they put a pin right here and then they put a uh a, a, a candle okay this hand they say a prayer over it incantation if you go let's say you go to a stadium there's 30,000 people there and then you just light up the candle every single person that is in this stadium is going to froze freeze is going to freeze you're going to stop time Time will stop. They will just freeze. And then what they do, they rob all of them. They won't be able to move. That's what Lame de Gloire is. Okay? If you want to know, it, it's in the book, Le Petit Albert. Okay, we discussed that in our Zoom meeting. And we discussed that a little bit on live. There are certain information I don't like to bring because people, unless he says something, unless somebody else says something about it, I'll bring it. Okay, this thing, if you have that thing in your hand, you go anywhere, there's people you can freeze them in place and they won't be able to do anything. You will be the only person that can move, move. And, and back then the thief used to use that. 
Enoch has something like that, that, well, when he was tough in the tablet, in the Emerald tablet of Enoch, he used something like that. When the barbarian was trying to attack him, he forced them in place with his staff. This is the same power. And you can build this pretty much in anything. You can build this in a pentacle. You can actually build it in a ring. You can freeze people in place in a ring. Things like that. I don't like to talk about it because people like, oh, well, those are, those are like, you know, evil stuff. It's in books. They hide those books. Listen, I understand a lot of our people are, uh, are very worried and they are very pro uh, protective of information and they don't want certain information to fall in the hand of the Gentiles. Let me tell you, beloved brothers and sisters, they already have your information. They don't want you to gain access and talk about it. We must talk about things like that. There are certain books like, okay, well, we should not bring them out. No, we should because they already have them. They hide them from our people. We don't know which one of our brothers that are listening that have the gift that can actually build a nation. Uh, um, rings like this, we can freeze people to place. A police officer pull you over or some dude pull a gun on you, which we have remedy for that. If somebody pull a gun on you, <laughs> give the most high praises. Okay, they call this Lame de Gloire. You can freeze an entire place. If, if anyone that is somewhere close to you, you can freeze them in place. They won't be able to do anything. Time will stop. And this is not a joke, brothers. This is real. All right? Just like he's talking about the hand of glory and stuff like that and things like that. And of Fatima is warned to ward off evil spirits. Now, here's my point. There's this big belief in evil spirits. Okay. Oh, boy. If you look at the area of the Fertile Crescent and you look at ancient Mesopotamia, in Revelation chapter 9, and I'm not going to read all this. It would take too long. I want, you, I want to read what it says here. And we're going to talk about the Pazuzu spirit. The fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star far from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit and a smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke came locust, came locust upon the earth. To them was given power as the power of the scorpions of the earth have power. Now, if you keep reading this and I'm going to break it down and, and just. Okay, so they are now using the New King James Version. It's always the NIV, but the, for some reason you people are using the New King James Version because the NIV, you know what? No, no, no. Hang on. Tell you what's Hang in on. it in just a moment. Mm. On the earth. Okay, let's read the NIV. Uh, Revelation 9. Is that what that is? Uh, NIV Revelation 9, 1, 2, 3. Uh, NIV Revelation 9, 2, 3. There we go. There we go. All right. Um. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, let me use this instead. Revelation 9. NIV, Revelation 9, verse 1 to 3. Ah. ah not the King James Version. Ah, uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, is that what that is? A new international version. Uh, Revelation 9. Let's read. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky uh, uh, to the earth. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the King James said, Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star falling from heaven to the earth. Okay. The star was given the key to the shaft of the beast. Okay. They say the star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. And over here it say to him, given the key to the bottomless pit. They don't say the star. They say to him, they don't specify. But over there in the NIV, they say the star, okay, the star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke was from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. Okay. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Okay. And he opened the bottomless pit and smoke was out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. 
and out of the smoke, locusts came down on an on, on earth and were given power like a scorpion on the earth. They were told not to arm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only people who did not have the seal of God on their forehead. Okay. Um, the sun were darkened because of the smoke of it. They are common smoke. Locusts came upon the earth and to them was given power and the scorpions of the earth have power you remember why he doesn't read the rest because they change everything in the niv it means something totally different that's why they, now they are in the new king james version okay to them was given power as the power of the scorpions of the earth have power now if you keep reading this oh, and i'm going to break it down and, and just tell you what's in it in just a moment that's a lot. first of all it's the bottomless pit the greek word is abusos and it is a place on earth that has an entrance that goes to the underworld or the underground. We do not know how deep it is, but it's called bottomless. So it's an opening somewhere. Well, first of all, everything on this earth is bottomless. Okay. The sea is actually bottomless. You guys only know 5% of the sea. Oh man. There's many things under the sea. Okay. Any hole you can dig on the earth, the moment you reach water, it's bottomless. The, it, the earth doesn't have eight. I don't know. They, they are not talking about an actual. <laughs> they are not talking about actual locusts, man. They are not talking about actual scorpion having power like the locusts. That's not what that is. Not an actual place smoke will come out or volcano. That's not what that is, man. Anyway, what time is it, man? I'm tired, man. Been started. Okay, all right. We'll take another four minutes, then I'm done with this thing, man. No one has seen it, no one has found it, but it will be opened oh, by an angel of God during the tribulation period. That's now not the true. odd thing is that there is a spirit called Abaddon or Apollyon. One is a Greek word, the other is a Hebrew word that oh. means destroyer or destruction. That is over these locusts that come out from the bottom of the bottomless pit during oh, the tribulation. Now, because they have a spirit over them, they are not normal locusts. Behind me is a picture. You're probably looking saying, what are those little things? Those are They are not talking about locusts at all. The word locust here is another word for Beelzebub. The, 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 well, they call it the demon of fly or the god of fly, so to speak. They are not talking about, he, he, Beelzebub caused destruction and that's what's going on over there. And a lot of demons going on over there and then destroying you people. That has nothing to do with locusts. Is that what that is? Uh, let me double check. Because sometimes those things drop their grades. Beelzebub. According to Wikipedia, Beelzebub or Beelzebul is a name derived from a Philistine god, formerly worshipped in Ekron, and later adopted by some Abrahamic religions as a major demon. Okay. Is the, um, uh, uh, what is Beelzebub god of? Uh, Beelzebub, the demon of flies. There you go. Uh huh. Okay, Lord of Flies, of course. Okay, known as Lord of Flies. Who is the Lord of Flies? Oh. According to PinkMinky.com, Lord of the Flies uh. refers to Beelzebub, another name for the devil. Okay. He is also called the Lord of Filth and Dung. Okay. Throughout the novel, the children grow dirtier and dirtier, an outward reflection of their inner state. Okay. As their savagery and evil increases, they oh, seek boy. a symbol, a god to worship. Okay, that's that's a, anyway. When they say this thing come out, like it's it's a spirit. That they're not talking about the actual locust, you scum. <laughs> it's, it's just an evil spirit, an infernal spirit. They sent to destroy the wicked, and then the spirit cannot touch the one that have the seal of the mighty one upon them, because we are not their target. Locust. It's a picture of a locust, just a, just a group of locusts that are hovering over plants and things. These do not do what normal locusts do, which means to me <sighs> that they are some type of a spirit that look like a locust. However, no. they don't even really look like a locust. Look at what the Bible describes in Revelation 9. Mm. They are like horses prepared to battle. They on their heads were crowns like gold. Now that doesn't mean wearing a literal gold crown. 
That just means that it had the appearance of a gold. This is all Kabbalah, man. This is all Kabbalistic meaning. There's nothing like when they say like horse prepare for battle, heads crowned like gold, like men, like women, like breastplate, like chariot. It it <laughs> like in this sense means com something completely gold crown on the head. Anyway, they had faces like men, hair like women, breastplates of iron wings with the sound of chariots and tails of a scorpion. Now, some people have looked at this verse and they translate it from the historical perspective, not the futuristic perspective that we're doing. Oh, boy. When they translate the book of Revelation and they teach that this was the Turkish army that invaded the Middle East and invaded Israel and took over for 400 years. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know what, man? I don't have time for this. Let me see. Um, Yeah, it's been an hour. I, I thought that was going to be like a five minutes video. But this dude, let me, ju let me just let this dude talk and then I, I will, uh, I don't know, play a bit. Well, you got a problem with that. They did have faces of men. Some of them had long hair, but the breastplates of iron, which those, those would be shields. Okay. But what about the wings that have the sound of chariots? And breastplate is not shield <laughs> a breastplate right now would have been a, 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 a bulletproof vest it's not shield what about the tails of a scorpion and the tail stings men and torments men now they didn't have guns back then in the turkish army till toward the end uh you know 1800s 1900s it collapsed in 1917 the ottoman turkish empire did in the middle east but they use swords mostly in spears in their battles for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very strange verse, but I want to talk to you about a spirit called the, the Pazuzu spirit. And I want to compare this to something in Revelation 9 with the demons that come out of the abyss during the tribulation period. Now, once again, let me just say it up front. This is something I studied on the side. It's something I didn't have to preach. It's something I wanted to preach. You know why? Because I can, okay? So it's the strangest message You'll ever hear on manifest because you know he will receive a lot of crap for this because people will ask him why are you getting into demons i want to hear about how jesus then water into wine and how he was so sweet and he's going to save me and where is he you know he was supposed to be here what's going on with that uh, the whole rapture thing you know, you know? but i want to give you something to think about sometimes i just like to preach something to make you think <sighs> there was a figure when i say a figure it was an image that was discovered in an excavation in ancient babylon oh boy. and when they discovered this image and it was also it was actually on something similar to this the terracotta pieces it was a mix of an animal with human parts it had a human body face of a person looked like the face of a person feathered wings legs talons <clears throat> mm -hmm. and when i say the head of a person it had like a lion face on front and also on the back, all right? He also has had a scorpion's tail. This particular piece had a scorpion's tail, all right? All right, he is considered to be, he's called Pazuzu, this was the name given, and he is considered to be the king of evil, the king of wind, and the king of demons, and he brings sickness to women and children. Now again, this is based on very ancient writings about this Pazuzu spirit that was discovered in, in the area of ancient Babylon, which by the way, is the area of Iraq, which by the way, is the area of Bible prophecy for the end time, which by the way, may be the area in the Persian Gulf, which is an entrance to the underworld or an oh entrance to the bottomless pit. And again, I'm going, I'm going way out here. I've been known to- You're going way off, that's what that is. Do this from time to time. So, you know, there's no sense in saying, what a strange message and criticizing, because I've been- that, What is strange? Because first of all, strangeness is not yours. It has nothing to do with you and your people and muggles like you. You guys are messing with things. You have no idea what they do. You don't know what it is. You, you, you're losing your grip because the people are asking you and then you're coming on our channel. You don't know what we are doing. Everything we are doing is strange. Now you're messing with magic too. This is witchcraft. Please leave those things to us. You don't know what you're doing. Having like little stuff over there doing witchcraft stuff. 
been criticized my whole life and it just kind of goes over my head, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, because these are things like if I was preaching to kids, they'd be loving this right now because this is the kind of thing they ask questions about. All right. Because people have been questioning him about those things, you know, because they see what we are doing, you know, they see what we are doing. They question, uh, 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 they question him about this, you know? So let me see here. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Oops. This Pazuzu spirit is said to be in ancient times over the southeast wind. Uh -huh. He brings famines in dry seasons. Now, remember, in the book of Euphrates, when all this is happening, the Euphrates River will dry up in the book of Revelation. But here's the part that got me. So all that's interesting. Okay, hey, he's got, the, you know, talks about lions in the book of Revelation, not, uh, chapter nine, and it talks about, you know, a scorpion tail. So we got all this connected with this strange figure, figure that they found in ancient Babylon in an excavation, oh. all right? However, here's the part that was interesting. He also heads up the locust. Now these would be the locust here, so why does John in the book of Revelation use the word locust to describe something that really doesn't even look like a, a normal locust? You know why? Because in Revelation chapter 9, whatever is in the bottomless pit has a king spirit over it. That's what we're talking about. The book of Revelation uses Apollyon and Abaddon, Greek word, Hebrew word that simply means destroying, a destroyer, a spirit. Okay, just say Pluto, man. Just say planet hell, because that's what he's talking about. <laughs> you guys, a, a destroyer, just say Pluto, Hades, just say it. Because you've been swagger jacking for a while now, and you're confusing the people. <laughs> oh, Europe, that's a destroyer, but here you've got an ancient image found that the research is done through history thousands of years ago. And it has basic similar imagery to the wording of the book of Revelation chapter nine. And so in this imagery that dates thousands of years, uh -huh. we have in the book of Revelation, a destroying spirit. We have a, something called Pazuzu that goes back thousands of years that has the wings and has the scorpion tail, has the lion image, all that kind of thing, uh, has the claws and the feet, etc. And so what happens, the reason these are not normal locusts like you're seeing in this picture that our uh, workers have made, our tech team has made, uh. is because it doesn't kill men, but it tortures men. Now a scorpion sting, if you know anything about a scorpion, is extremely painful, extreme swelling, redness. It, it rarely kills. Uh, it, man, it, it's bad. It, it, it's, it, it hurts, but it doesn't always kill. But, listen, they're not talking about the actual physical pain. But anyway, man, I'm going to let you guys enjoy this beat while I'm making the thumbnail. Za, za, zi, za, za, za. I don't have time for this, man. You know, Perry, you know. You know what? Let me let me talk to, through this. Uh, how long we are into this thing? I, I played this thing for like 30 minutes. But anyway, man, like, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Things <laughs> You know what? Let me let me put um a little oh that's better all right wait a minute huh can i be playing while we are doing this so let me put another one right here okay this one should be good hmm let me look for my favorite, oops, my favorite effect, oops, I'm a slow typer. Uh oh, that's not what that is. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try demon. 
Demon. Since he's been talking about Demon. Should be in there. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, it is. It is in there. It is in there. Let's see if this one going to work. Engine doubling. No, it's not working. Hmm. I have to record it. Ah, let's record it. Well, for some reason, that thing don't want to record. I believe I'm doing three things here. So, we really don't care. Amen. Very strong. Stop swagger jacking. Stop swagger jacking us. You don't know anything about the Bible, yeah. You try to talk about demon. Try to talk about angel. You're losing your way. Stop matching with witchcraft. Magic is for us, yeah. We are the strange people. We are the peculiar people. Hey, this is for us, not for you. You are a muggles. You do not have the strange in you. You are not a peculiar person. All of a sudden, now you people wanna talk about magic. You wanna talk about spells. Talking about a little bit. Uh, talking about a little lot. Talking about a, a little bold. I have prayer that you buried in front of your house to keep evil spirit away, man. Shut the f. You don't know anything about what you're saying. But when we do this, when we say this, we got people skin for coming after us. Tell us that, hey man, you practicing witchcraft, but none of you going to this guy and tell him, hey, stay in your lane, man. Yeah. Yo, Perry Stone, man, stay in your lane. Your lane is the prophetic thing going backwards. Your lane is getting money in the church. Your lane, Perry Stone, is molesting the woman. And show them how excited you are. Stay in your lane. You don't know anything. Don't be coming in a magical lane. Act like you are magical too. Talking about tradition or the Kabbalah. You people been chastising our people. You sing skin folk after us. Tell us not to read. Tell us not to research. All of a sudden now, you people are picking up what we've been saying. Talk about magic. Talk about incantation. Talk about spells. Yeah. Talk about charms. Yeah. Incantation. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Yeah. Ring, jump, jumping. Yeah. Ring, jump, jumping. Ring, jumping, jumping. Ring, jumping, jumping. Ring, Hey, 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 Again, we tell you to stay in your lane. This thing is above your pay grade. You know nothing. Don't be coming over here t- talking about Pazuzu, aka Zozo. We know when our people say Embalpa until lately, and we know what they meant by saying Pazuzu. That was his real name. Really don't wanna know what Zozo mean in our language. That was the real name of Pazuzu. We know him before, we know him after. When we were in Babylon, the book of Daniel, in the time of Daniel, that's why our people used to worship. That's why beast of the Mosai. That's why sin or this to slavery. Daniel 12 and 1 is in the mist. Hey, 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 Just having some fun in today's Saturday. Oh. All right, let's go.
Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, boy. I'm spraying a little. A, a, a little. A little piano keyboard. Just let you enjoy the beat, man. That's all.
call yourself a rapper But I watch you gonna do when the fire come for you You call yourself some survivor But I watch you gonna do when the monster come for you You call yourself But I watch you gonna do when the fire come for you You call yourself some survivor But I watch you gonna do when the monster come for you you call yourself a prepper What you gonna do when the fire come for you? You call yourself survivor What you gonna do when the moose I come for you? You call yourself a prepper What you gonna do when the fire come for you? You call yourself survivor What you gonna do when the moose I come for you? You call yourself a prepper What you gonna do when the fire come for you? You call yourself survivor Call yourself a prepper. What you gonna do when the fire come for you? You call yourself survivor. What you gonna do when the moose I come for you? You call yourself a prepper. What you gonna do when the fire come for you? You call yourself survivor. What you gonna do when the moose I come for you? You call yourself a prepper. What you gonna do when the fire come for you? You call yourself survivor. What you gonna do? When the most I come for you